We have two minutes, but I'll, I'll stretch it to just one more minute. No, I want to ask also, no problem, um, you know, uh, he, during his inaugural address on June 30th, uh, he, one of his last lines, you know, he talked about, uh, and he never mentioned the 31.6.5 million who voted for him. He talked about 110 million reasons to be confident. Right. No, uh, It sounded to me like uh, your dad was steering away from talking about how divisive the election was is that what he's trying to do now and how would you as his son you know try to address all these issues that uh you know you, we have many political forces that don't agree with him you know that see this as um a very strange uh happening you not know, to have a, a, a second marcos as a president well ma'am with all due respect Divisiveness might be the opinion of some, but being the first majority president elected since, I guess, a very long time. Since, since a very long time, uh, I don't see anything divisive in it. If you are supported by the majority of the Filipinos, then you can argue that that's the majority. And well, it is the majority. Yeah, exactly. So I, I to call the election divisive would be to discredit the 31.5 or 31.6 million people mm -hmm. that equated to about 58 mm percent -hmm. of the electorate which supported him now with regards to his inaugural speech and what he said that when he had he has 110 million reasons to uh he has 110 million reasons that he is confident that this country will flourish it is because after May 9, you are not the president to 31.6 million Filipinos. You are the president to 110 million Filipinos. And with regards to his message of unity, what kind of unifying president would you be if you only called out the 31.6? He, he hopes to espouse an inclusive brand of leadership within this country for the next six years. And so he needs to think about Mm. Everyone and anyone, not just the people that voted for him. All right. Thank you so much, uh, Congressman Sandra Margo. Sandra, maraming salamat. Oh, all right. Sa uh, I, I know you're, you need to go and have lunch. No, no, <laughs> no. I actually, we have to be in the hall by three. Oh, yeah, that's right. Okay, so you can go now. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Go ahead. Thank salamat. You so Thank you so much. Thank you. All right. Um, okay, that was Congressman uh, Sandra Marcos addressing so many issues, uh, not just about uh, his.